guys, it's Aman UK here. Sorry it's been such a long time, it's been around three weeks since my last video. Um, I've been really, really, really busy the last few weeks, so I've not had any chance to get my camera out and record any of the Queen Ants. However, today I managed to get some quick footage and put it together to make a quick video for you guys of two of the Queen Ants that I caught during the nuptial flights. One of them is a winged Laceous Niger Queen Ant and the other one is a non-winged Laceous Niger Queen Ant who removed their wings in the test tube. They both have eggs and larvae. So stay tuned for this episode guys. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. Since my last video, which was the nuptial flight flying ant day, a lot of people commented saying you shouldn't catch queen ants that have wings. I did say to people that if you catch a queen ant with wings, make sure she's on the floor, you know. What I tend to do when I'm catching a queen ant is I watch them. So if I see that they've just made it and they've landed on the floor, I'll pick them up even if they have wings, okay. Now I'm not proving a point here, but I'm just stating a fact that winged queen ants can lay eggs and they can produce a colony. For example, this queen ant in the video has laid eggs and now has larvae and she has wings. I have, I collected 27 queen ants, all of the winged queens I caught, all, all have laid eggs. So there, I've got like, I've probably got about 10, maybe more, uh, actual winged queen ants in the box um, who have eggs and larvae. I lost two queens after they laid eggs. I don't know why they died, but they did. Um, and also I had some queens who did remove their wings in the test tube, which at the end of this video you'll see a queen in the footage. Um, this was a queen that had, had removed her wings. There was like one or two wings, you know, pieces of wing left in the test tube. Um, I'm guessing she consumed it because she needed the extra proteins. Um, but they're doing really well. Um, a majority of them are on eggs, some are on larvae, and some have laid fresh batches of eggs. And I'm hoping that we might have the first workers emerge before winter time. If not, they're probably going to go into hibernation and then after hibernation they'll hatch. But I'm hoping that um, within the next month or so I might have my first workers from this queen ant or one of the queens in the container box that I keep them all in. I hope you guys have managed to catch some um, queen ants during the nuptial flights. It was really, really great. I believe it happened twice. Um, I missed out on the second time that it happened, but it did happen twice in my area, um, especially the Manchester area and around that, around the northwest. It happened when I did the recording, and it happened again a few weeks later when the weather was nice as well, when it was really, really humid. This is the Laceous Niger Queen without wings in the footage. Um, she did remove her wings. I don't know if you can see them. I can't remember if I actually picked it up on the camera, but there was a wing underneath her and there was like a piece of wing stuck in the back left of the cotton there. You could probably just make it out a bit, it's a bit shaded, um, but she did remove her wings and she's got eggs and larvae as well. So all in all, the Laceous Niger Queens are doing absolutely fantastic and hopefully I'm going to be able to raise a successful colony out of these and I hope you guys have had some luck as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.